Hi everyone, this is Paint with Judith. I do paint parties and paint nights in local restaurants in Rockland, Ontario. Today I'm going to show you how to do a small version of our guitar couples paint nights uh, where each person paints a half guitar and uses different colors. So we're just going to do a small version of that today. I'll be using acrylic paints and I'm using a small 8x10 canvas, but you can use uh, anything to paint on if you want. You can use cardboard, paper, um, anything that you have lying around. Uh, I'm also going to be using a big brush, a smaller brush, just a pencil to I'll show you how to trace on your guitar. And I'll be using palette knives. Um, if you don't have palette knives, you can get uh, cardboard and just cut it in different shapes just to give you um, a good edge to spread paint around later. Okay, and um, yeah, so just acrylic paints. Um, some of them are from the local dollar store. Uh, most of my supplies are from Michael's, but um, I use a variety of uh, different brands when I paint at home. So, uh, okay, let's get started. I'll show you how to draw the guitar in. So I've got about three fingers from the edge here. This is going to be my first line. And that's about four fingers down. So I'm going to start with that line. And then I'm going to make the side of the guitar. So I'm going to bump out this. And as you can see, I'm a bit halfway past the point on my canvas. And then I'm going to go down and curve. And then I'm going to go out. And notice I'm going out a little bit more than what I was doing at the top. And then a little bit further and then go down. <clears throat> So take a pencil with um, an eraser and um, you can adjust your uh, adjust your guitar until you feel like you you like the shape. Uh, so right here that's about halfway a little above a halfway point of the canvas. I made a circle. I left it open on that side. In the original design it's actually a heart and when you put them together it's half a heart and then when you put them together it gives you a cute little heart so you can do that heart if you want to if you want to do two small canvases you could draw like half a heart here instead of doing that open circle so just do a circle here and then at the bottom, I have some details. Now, if I knew the, all the right terms, I would tell you, but. So I have one here and one here. It's a bit like a rectangle, but it's it's got an angled edge here. Okay, and my last detail, I want to get that um, black part here right up to the circle. So that line, I'm just going to bring it right to the circle here. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. I'm going to get my brush wet and wipe it on the side of my jar. So I'm using the big brush. I'm going to start with the background. You can start with either one. I'm going to do uh, some blue and some turquoise. And I'm just going to do it very roughly, very loosely, just going to cover all of the white. Okay, and at the same time, if you want, you can finish up the edges, because if you want to hang it up uh, on your wall later, your edges are going to be all finished up and it makes a nice touch to have it fully colored on your sides. I'm just going around my lines. 
And I'm not going to say it's it's an abstract painting because abstracts usually there aren't really like definitive shapes, but it's definitely a loose painting. It doesn't have to be exact. The guitar looks like a guitar, but it's not like 100% accurate. I'm sure it's not, but it's fun. I'm just lightly going over it just to remove any brush strokes. Okay, let's just do the sides really quick. Okay, let's wash out our brush. And I'm just, just gonna wipe it on my towel. Okay, now you can switch to a smaller brush now if you want. I'm going to do the orange part with this big brush. Um, so we're not going to be doing the circle here or the lines or the rectangles. We're going to do that in black after. So I'm going to get my orange. This is called Burnt Orange from Americana Deco Art. Uh, if you don't have this color, you could probably mix an orange you have with brown. Uh, or you can uh, use a dark red and um, maybe add a bit of yellow to it just to change the, the tint. Uh, red and yellow will give you orange. Looking for a darker orange. You could also do this in brown. This color is almost, I don't know what it looks like in the camera, but it's almost brown to me. Okay, so I'm just using my brush to go around my lines, fill this in. doing the edges as I'm, as I'm going.
So let's get some black. I'm going to start filling in these dark areas. Switching to a smaller brush for my black. Take my time and fill in these dark areas. Okay, now my canvas is pretty much dry. Um, there's a bit of black uh, still wet, but I'll just be careful and work around it for now. Uh, so what I wanted to next is get a lighter orange. And I'm gonna get my palette knife. Now again, if you don't have a palette knife, you can use like an old gift card and just cut it in the shape you want. Um, you can use cardboard or anything that has a good edge. So I just put some paint on the palette knife and I'm just sliding it in some areas. And you'll see it's pretty random put as much as you want. I'm not going to cover the entire darker color, but I am giving the illusion that there's a brighter orange on here. There's a little bit over here too. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean my knife. And now I want to do some marks with the palette knife on the blue here. And I'm gonna try just a turquoise, but maybe I'll get some white out, some white. Oh, I kinda like this, so we'll stick to turquoise for now. I'm just really scratching and I'm not having too much of a hard time because the blue underneath is dry if it was really wet my knife would be kind of like sticking to the canvas it would be um, scratching off that blue that I had put down before so it's a good idea to let your paint dry Okay, so I crafted a different brush. I, um, I just want to do, if you if you want to do it on yours, I want to do this black outline around the side of the guitar. <clears throat> and uh, so just grab like a brush that gives you a little point at the end, um, just to help you trace around your details. I'm just gonna make sure I have enough paint on the brush and just trace around. And now's a good time to just touch up those little areas of black. If you have some spots that are missing paint. Okay, now I want to get a little bit of blue on the guitar with the palette knife. This is just to add some drama in the guitar. If you ha don't have the same colors, just use what just use what you have. Just use what you have at home.
I love how it pops with the orange. There we go. Okay. Out. <clears throat> now if you want to go back with your orange in some areas like right here, I want it to be just a touch brighter before it turns, before it brings the eye to the blue. Now be careful not to mix it in the blue because you're going to get mud. Up some areas. Okay, let's get into, um, I was going to say the white. Maybe we'll do. Okay, so let's do a bit of black. And we don't want to put too much. Okay, let's do some white details. So I'm going to use my palette knife again. I'm going to get some white. And I'm going to start deciding where I'm going to put my strings. And all the little details. So let's start with a white line here. Maybe another one here and here. Again, I'm sure it's not super accurate. That's okay. Um, yeah, let's add some here and under here. Maybe it's a, it's a reflection. Maybe it's shining. Okay, and then I'm going to go from about here all the way down to right into the um, a rectangular shape. I might run out of paint. If that happens, I'll just go I'll just go back and get some. Just pulling my arm down. And you can do this with a brush. I find I get cleaner lines with the palette nice. A little shakier when handling a brush, which is which is normal. Here goes another line. And now if you want to add some reflections of white on the guitar, I can add a little bit. Maybe on the side here. 
me on the top. Okay, I'm gonna make. I wish I knew how they were called. <laughs> we're just gonna make like really small circles. And if you want, you can add some up here. I'm just adding a bit of white to the tip of the palette knife. Um, you can definitely do that. Do this with a small brush, just using the tip. Okay. And I'm going to add um, some white down here. In the original I also outlined it a little bit. If you feel like your guitar needs a bit more detail, you can add that white with a paintbrush. Kind of like it this way. Okay, and I'm just going to do a bit of white around that circle. <clears throat> and maybe I should have done it before doing those cords, but I'll take my time. If you haven't painted your 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 um your your strings yet, you can probably do this part first. See how it's a lot harder to get those clean lines with a paintbrush than that pot knife. And this is a script liner from Silverbrush. I really love Silverbrush. Really good um, paintbrush making company. Their paintbrushes really last forever. Okay, so I'm just going to use this brush while I have it. Maybe I want to add some extra some extra details with the white and um, but I think I'm pretty much done if you want to oh maybe I'll add a bit of white here and here and maybe I'll add some small dots here Like I said, I have no clue if that's accurate, <laughs> but it's really fun. So maybe you're watching this video and um, you want to paint it later, go right ahead. Uh, again, you don't have to have like the exact colors. You could probably do like, you could probably do like a pink guitar and it would look really cool. Like. You can use pretty much any color that you have. Okay. So last step is to do sun painting. You can use any color that you like. And just line your name or the date. You can also use Sharpie or um a paint pen. Okay, that's it. We are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and like the video, like our page, Paint, paint with Judith, uh, and share with your friends. Uh, again, we do local paint parties and paint nights in Rockland, Ontario, and surrounding areas. So sometimes we're in Ottawa too. 
so follow our page so you can see all our events and um, leave a comment below if you are painting this and uh, send us a picture we'd love to see it so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed bye